Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back to kick off round 3 for Group D matches. And in these matchups we will see Team Africa going up against DBW's original gangsters, Chomps down against Darius, and Nopey taking on Token. I feel like this could be an interesting round. This could be an interesting round of matches because a win for Nopey will guarantee their place in the last 32. And whoever wins in this matchup will get, get the, book their place in the last 32. But I feel like this is the big game. Oh, oh, oops. I feel like these two... Massive game. Because the winner will close the gap on the top on these three. I mean, you could finish, qualify if you finish in fourth, but you don't really want to finish fourth because then you'll end up facing someone from another group who won their group. Anyway, that's enough blabbering. Let's get on with the first match. Alrighty then, in this matchup, we see Team Africa going up against DBW's original gangsters. And up first for Team Africa, we have an Aranosaurus. And I need to get my notes out. I feel like this could be a massive game at the bottom for Group D because neither of these combatants have points so far so I feel like if whoever wins this match will be in a good position to still qualify from the group but and you also and take into account that Toko who is also pointless has to play Noki in this round as well so a good opportunity for both of these combatants here oh yeah as for DBW in the blue corner we have a T-Rex and beware of that blazing spin, it could do some major damage. Ooh, ooh lag, lag of death. <laughs> ooh, the T-Rex gets off the first hit. Oh, that's a tie. There's the move breaker there, nullifying that blazing spin attack. Oh no, it's not Move Breaker. It's the Blunder type from the Aranosaurus. Well, we do have another tie. And the Aranosaurus finally getting a hit. After consecutive ties, the Ara Team Africa strikes back. Ooh, why is it so laggy? Hmm. Ooh, but the T-Rex gets off a firebomb, which will take out the Aranosaurus and give DBW an early lead. Alright, up next for Team Africa, we have an Afrovenator. I don't, I don't know why the sound's playing up, but oh well. <laughs> we'll just have to soldier on. Lots of power in that hurricane beat, as in its crit as well. Wow, it's terrible. It's not usually this bad. I mean, it's a little bit, but not that bad. But yeah, definitely a good opportunity. A good opportunity here for DBW to open up a lead. Well, a bigger lead. But, oh, it's a Dino Stuffer! The Afrovenator again off a crit, but Dino Stuffer says no. That's what I'm saying, yeah, because Team Africa's last two dinos are wind dinosaurs, so if this T-Rex keeps getting off hits, it will make it that much harder for Team Africa to come back into this match. Oh, and that's going to complicate things. A blazing spin attack, which is going to le leave a significant blow on the Afrovenator. Whoa, look at that damage. Dare I say, if that was a burning dash, I think that might have been curtains. The strength in the crit from the T-Rex is, well, was displayed on top there. And DBW has a big lead over Team Africa. But, the final fury coming from the Velociraptors and a hit from a Frovenator. And it will be curtains for that T-Rex, but it's definitely served its purpose. But... It's still a chance for Team Africa because up next for DBW we have a Lambiosaurus. 
This beast will be at a tight disadvantage against the Afrovenator and Team Africa's third Dino, so it's still up for grabs this match. But I feel like that blazing spin attack was crucial for DBW's chances of winning. Oh, that's a tie, and the Afrovenator goes down. And up next, up last but not, well last and least for Team Africa, we have a Majungasaurus. A Super Majungasaurus. Awaker mode on four. Can Team Africa pull this back, or can DBW pull away with it? That's so slavery. That'd be a tie. Wow, the jungle source took loads of damage. I think because this Lambiosaurus is charge type. So it deals more damage in a tie. Which could come in handy for DBW. Okay, that's once. Ooh, the Lambiosaurus getting off a metal wing. I don't think this will do too much damage to Majungasaurus, but it will leave a mark. Oh wow, not that much of a mark. But the Dino Illusion gets triggered, and that could come in very handy for Majungasaurus. As Nature's Blessing goes off, healing up the Lambiosaurus a bit. Oh, speaking of Dino Illusion, here comes Dino Illusion! Okay, one more, and then it'll be awakening time for Majungasaurus. But the Lambiosaurus is looking pretty impressive. Another Metal Wing coming. And this attack will also guarantee DBW a losing bonus point, should he lose this match. Oh, and another Dino Illusion. And another Nature's Blessing. But it's awakening time, and this could be what Team Africa needs. Ooh, that will suit them down to the ground. And that will definitely suit them down to the ground, taking out the Lambiosaurus. But Team Africa is in a perilous situation, as one hit from, DB from this Pachycephalosaurus will all but end this match. Yeah, not much to say about this guy, just all secret moves, because it's... <laughs> oh yeah, oh he still has Dino Illusion! Oh, never mind. Ooh, here comes the Dino Illusion! Saving Majungasaurus and Team Africa from losing! Oh, that's a tie! But Majungasaurus hangs on by a thread. And yep, that is game over for Team Africa. And DBW claims a massive three points. Um, yeah, good win. A good win. A crucial win, I'd say. You know, just to get points on the board and to put pressure on Toka in their third match against Nopi. Right. Time to update the table, and we'll move on to our second match of this video. Alrighty then, in this matchup we see Darius, Chompstan taking on Darius. And at first for Chompstan, we have a Uteraptor. Uh, not much to say here. Since it has the same moveset as my Mega Raptor, except for instead of Mayfly, it has Tornado Pass. But in the blue corner for Darius, we have the MVP of his team, the Lexovasaurus, and we definitely saw what that Quicksaber can do. As it one-shot the Eucentrosaurus in the last match, to give Darius a 2-0 lead over Toka. But I think the key for Darius here is to get as much many hits off as possible with this thing. Because his next two dinos will be at a tight disadvantage against Chompstan's next two dinos. So I feel like Chomstan definitely has the edge in this matchup, but we'll just have to see. A start like that is just what Darius wants. 
an attack boost and a quake, an attack boost to boot, but not much damage dealt and the Dino Illusion has been triggered. That, however, is not the start Darius would have wanted. A tornado toss coming from the Uteraptor, which will deal significant damage to this Laxovasaurus. Oh, look at that. Loads of damage down. Oh, dear. But the Crystal Crusher has been triggered, so... Oh, oh, this will be interesting, actually. Will Crystal Crusher bypass Cyclone, or will Cyclone activate? I actually kind of want it to be a tie to find out. Okay, we're not going to find out, but what we are going to know is that the Laxovasaurus is going to die. And that is not good for Darius. And that is with the Uteraptor not taking much damage at all. A dominant start from Chompstack. Okay, up next to Darius, we have a Eustrepta Spondylus. This beast finished off Toker in the last matchup, but he's going to have his work cut out this time. I sense the Dino Swing will definitely come in handy, and wow! Wow, his moves are very balanced. I, I just looked at his stats, is very balanced. Actually, I should, I'm going to have a look at his stats. I mean, I mean, I have the Kakushin first card, which tells you what, I, what its attacks are. Oh, that be a tie. Oh, don't do this, RNG. Hang on. That be another tie. I feel like that will suit Chompstand more because he's still getting hits off on the uh, Eustrepta Spondylus. But the Eustrepta Spondylus striking back. But it is a Dino Illusion, so the Eutoraptor remains unscathed. And the Uteraptor strikes back with another hit. And you strip the Spondylus' his own Dino Illusion gets triggered. But also Cyclone does as well. Oh, that's a tie. But the Cyclone effect allows you to attack. But Dino Illusion was there to protect the you strip the Spondylus. Oh, that would have been curtains for you, Strep the Spawn, to say if that Tornado Toss activated. How crucial could that Dino Illusion be? Chomps, Darius having a difficult time taking out this Uteraptor. But Chompstan well on top. Ooh, another Dino Illusion there. That will spare the you, Strep the Spawn, the list for now. But yeah, let Darius get a hit gain. I mean, it kind of makes sense since last matchup, Darius got low all the hits and Toka got none. So I feel like it's coming back now. <laughs> it's been reversed. Ooh, you strapped the Spondylus. Oh, getting a big crit off there. Almost taking out the Uteraptor, but Dino Illusion once again being triggered, as is Cyclone. Oh, big hit coming from Uteraptor. The Ustrepta Spondylus going down and giving Chompstan a 2-0 lead. Okay, as for Darius' third Dino, we have an Ampelosaurus. I feel like tie attack is definitely going to earn its money here if Darius wants any hope of getting something out of this match. Oh, you're coming speaking of tie attack. The tie attack finishing off the Uteraptor. Okay, it shouldn't be too tough for Darius to take out this Cachyrodontosaurus because it will be at a tight disadvantage. But Chompstan still has a sizable lead in this match. a tie, but that will suit Amplosaurus because of that tie recovery effect and the tie attack effect. The good synergy there. 
Ooh, the Amplosaurus getting off a hit. Is Darius coming back? Oh, fire cannon though, and a light recovery. Well, it won't do as much damage as it normally will, it'll still leave a mark. And light recovery there, not healing too much. Oh, and a volcano burst. Big turn for chomps on that. And that has also guaranteed that Chompstan will at least get a losing bonus point if he loses this match. Which doesn't look like it's going to happen. There's the top tie recovery effect. Ooh, a Kakirodontosaurus getting another hit. Not too much damage dealt though, but Volcano Burst will make up for that. One more hit from the from Chomp Stand will win it. A chunk. Good opportunity here for a bonus point win. And a bonus point win is what they will get. Um, yeah, pretty much dominance from the Utahraptor there. I mean, I feel like Chomp Stand would have was going to win this match anyway because of the type advantages. But wow, Utahraptor definitely did well, and gives Chomp Stand a bonus point win, which. Should be, well, which should be enough to get him through. Of course, it does depend on how this matchup, well, this next matchup between Nopi and Toka goes. So, let's get on with it. Well, it's the one we've been talking about. The big matchup here between Nopi and Toka Nightmare. A win here for Nopi will guarantee their place in the last 32. And, indirectly, will also guarantee Chopstan's place in the last 32. Anyway, up first for Nopi, we have Tank. We've definitely seen what this resilient beast can do. And it's going to be tough for Toka to tangle with. In the blue corner for Toka, we have a Lexovasaurus. Um, I wouldn't say defeat is the end of the world for Toka here, because they have yet to play DBW as original gangsters and Team Africa. So I wouldn't say it's all doom and gloom for Toka if they lose. But a win will definitely set them up nicely to finish in the top four. And us, let's be honest, seeing Toka in the like pointless at this stage, I, I think that's quite a surprise. I'm genuinely surprised. Well, that's a good start, isn't it? I feel like that's the biggest surprise of the tournament is that Toka at this stage is pointless. You know, given that they take into account that they won Group A in the last tournament. And well, this is fantastic, isn't it? Although I will say that Toka can count themselves quite unfortunate in these matchups. You know, none of their moves resolve. They don't. Key thing moments have gone against them. But maybe this match can be a turning point. Ooh, a big crit coming from Lexovasaurus. But wow, look at that. Like, Lexovasaurus has really good crit. Look how little damage it did. Ooh, a Giga Rock Hammer though, will make up for that. That was a big hit from Lexovasaurus there, but the Crystal Crusher has been triggered. Ooh, Lexovasaurus getting off another hit. But wow, look how minuscule that damage was, but if Barrier there as Toka finally strikes back in this match. Another hit. Is the resilient tank going down yet? What's this? Actually, no, it's got to be Crystal Crusher because the barrier's already activated. Is that the end of tank? Nope. Wow. <laughs> well, honestly, I'd say Toko's had some really bad luck in this tournament, but oh my god, oh, it didn't even kill it. Wow, shows the resilience this tank has. But, just despite his resilience, the Lexovasaurus managed to pull away and give Toka a 1-0 lead. And Toka will have the type advantage with Nopi's second dino, that dino being Chomp. I think it's Super Chomp as well. Yeah, Super Chomp. Uh, Wake and mode on 3. So yeah, Toka is actually in a good position in this match. 
And the Earth Barrier is still in effect as well, so even if Chomp gets a hit, it won't kill Lex over Soros. So Toka on top early on. And I think this is the first time in this tournament that Nopi's team is going to be fully, properly tested. Ooh. Ooh, a Giga Rock Hammer as well. I think. Oh my god, almost killed it! Okay, once. Well, Nopi needs to steady the ship quick. Oh my goodness, what's this Lex Oversaur is doing? Well, Chomp's dead. Okay, as for Nopi's third dino, we have an Isosaurus. And honestly, Toka is in such a good position here to get a bonus point win. But this Isosaurus has a lot of resilience to it, as does all of Nopi's dinos. But I wouldn't count Nopi out yet. Oh, I would if Toka keeps getting hits. But yeah, look at how little damage it did. Okay, finally Nopi lands some damage. Okay, this is this will be a one or a four probably. Nope, it's a three. Ooh, the tie defense effect there from Lex Oversaurus. And yep, yeah, of course, Lex Oversaurus gets off another hit. Honestly, I, I kind of hope Toka wins 3-0 here, because they've had such rotten luck in this tournament. It would be just what they deserve. Ooh, but the Isosaurus is saying no, and I think even with the Earth Barrier in effect, the Laxovasaurus will finally go down. And there's Defense Boost there, not really going to help at this point. Okay, as for Toka's second dino, we have Super Eucentrosaurus. Well, this thing lasted about two seconds against the Lex Oversaurus in the last matchup, but I think it will fare a little bit better because it will be at a type advantage over the Isosaurus, and I suspect that this beast will deliver a bonus point win for Toka. Like, honestly, Toka's had such bad luck in this tournament, I feel like this match is making up for it. <laughs> Oh, that's a tight. Ooh, well, finally, Nopi getting off a hit. It's not going to do much damage, though, but it will do some damage. Oh, wow, I actually did a decent amount of damage, but Counter Blitz has been triggered, and I think that might guarantee Toka's victory. Uh, we'll see a weight mode on three times. And that was once. Oh, I, th I think this might be it. I'm not sure if Counter Blitz will kill it, kill it. I think it might be useful. Oh, almost. Okay, that is lethal for Nopi and a well-deserved bonus point victory for Toka. And <laughs> that's got to feel like a relief. Massive bonus point win for Toka and that puts them right back in it. And that heaps the pre that also heaps the pressure on Team Team Africa and DBW. So we'll have a look at the table and we'll end the session. Um yeah, Group D looking a bit more interesting now. You have Chomp stand up top on ten points. Um is his qualification guaranteed? Pretty much is guaranteed. I mean, unless DBW gets a bonus point win. Well, DBW would have to get two bonus points and two wins. But I think even then, these guys play each other. Let's have a look. Round 4, 1 versus 4. 3 versus 5. Yeah, these two have to play each other, so. Yeah, Chompstan is pretty much guaranteed to go through to the last 32. And well, you will also join Shadow Force. I mean, I, I might be wrong, but I'm probably not. Yeah, because, yeah, I think these guys got to play each other as well. So, yeah, Chompstan... Is guaranteed his place in the last 32. And then we have Nopi and Darius. 
joint up joint in second with seven points and then we have Toka in the top four with that massive win over Notby and then we have DBW with also an important win over Team Africa and then we have Team Africa bringing up the rear and I forgot to add him I forgot to add the I so yeah group D is still still very much up for grabs well except for Chompstan I mean Chompstan has booked this place all right next matchup so we will see Darius taking on Team Africa uh, that could be an important game Toka taking on DBW. Wow, what a game this could be. Like, if the, if the first result goes Darius's way, and then we have Nopi taking on Chompstan, like, whoever loses this matchup could be on the brink of elimination. But I feel like if DBW loses, then it'll be more pressure on him if, than if Toka lost because of that bonus point. So, we'll just have to see how Group D plays out, but definitely look, looking like it's heating up so i hope you enjoyed this session and stay tuned to, for next time we will start round three for group e and until then this is strange gamer signing out